by looking at what a comparative adjective is. A comparative adjective compares someone or something with someone or something else. For example, Karen is shorter than Bob. Or, physics is more interesting than maths. So what is a superlative adjective? A superlative adjective compares someone or something to every other person or object in the group. So, for example, Karen is shorter than all her siblings, which means that Karen is the shortest child. Or, physics is more interesting than all other subjects, and therefore, physics is the most interesting subject. Right, let's look at formulation. To form a comparative adjective, you must add ER to it if it is a one-syllable word. For example, short, shorter, nice, nicer. And if it is a multi-syllable word, then you must add more before it. And also, you must use more with all participle adjectives. For example, difficult is a multi-syllable word, and therefore you should say more difficult. Interesting is a multi-syllable word, and it is a participle adjective, so we get more interesting. The same with interested, more interested. Now look at loved, it's a one-syllable word, but it is a participle adjective. Therefore, you should also say more loved. Now, to form a superlative adjective, you must add est to it and the before it if it is a one-syllable word. For example, short, the shortest, nice, the nicest. And, of course, if it is a multisyllable word, then you need to use most before it, and also with all participle adjectives. So, difficult, the most difficult. Interesting, the most interesting. Interested, the most interested. And loved, the most loved.